Hello, let's talk about the controversy over the Indian cricket team and the bio bubble. The new year has begun and there's no shortage of controversies. One such controversy is over a report about some members of the Indian cricket team going to a restaurant in Australia. As we know, the Indian team won the second test in Australia and these players were at a restaurant. A fan saw them, posted a picture of them. There was some controversy over whether they had broken the bio bubble and stepped out and whether they had broken the rules. Now, Indian cricket officials, of course, have said that this is not the case and there's no investigation. But this has thrown open a larger discussion about sport during the time of COVID-19, of course, the question of following the rules and also discussions on the nature of bio bubbles itself, the kind of challenges they face, but also the fact that players nonetheless are supposed to stick to the rules and follow those rules because otherwise the whole sport of the whole sport could be the whole game itself could be in danger. We talked to Leslie Xavier of NewsClick on some of these issues. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So the new year has begun and there's no shortage of controversies as usual in the world of sport. And the latest one, of course, one of the latest ones, of course, being that of the Indian cricket team in Australia, the whole story around five cricket players supposedly breaking the bio bubble. Now this has been denied by uh, the Indian authorities. And there's been a lot of drama and debate about that, a lot of commentary about that. So the bio bubble is actually a very interesting thing. We have been talking about it quite often on this show. But before we get into that, your thoughts on this specific episode, and for that matter, the controversies around New Year. Oh, well, happy New Year. <laughs> Nothing changes. It's just a change of the date, but otherwise, yeah, life moves on. In Indian sport, all the more say, the same. So today happens to be the Supreme Court hearing for the All India Football Federation. Uh, AFF had approached the Supreme Court for directives on whether to conduct or not conduct the elections considering the pandemic. This morning, I woke up to a press release from the Chess Federation, one of the Chess Federation officials, uh, saying that uh, online elections for the Chess Federation was not fair and they are planning to approach court and challenge the mandate. Uh, and uh, these are just the first two <laughs> control, I mean, so uh, polit politically charged Indian sport atmosphere continues. And on Sunday, yesterday, we published an exclusive story on how Motorsports Federation in the last 49 years of its existence, they were, they had perpetuated a, about what legal experts believe is a fraud. Uh, a non-existent uh, club representative was there in the Apex Council for the last 49 years. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's New Year for you in Indian sport. Yeah, and a carry forward from last year, I would say, because this incident happened on the on New Year's Eve, the first of December, where these five players decided to, led by Rohit Sharma, of course, the senior most player. So I squarely put the responsibility of, on him. Uh, went out for to for dinner, and a fan uh, caught them on camera. He, he, the fan, in fact, paid the bill. He claims. And then it just created the controversy as we know. So, I mean, is there a controversy? That's the biggest debate after that. Because, uh, I mean, it's the, the bio bubble rules are different for different uh, tournaments for sure. And uh, also, it's apparently stretchable in, in places like Australia where cases are less. So, uh, Australia is right now panicking because of the new COVID-19 strain that has come out and they discovered a couple of cases there. While yesterday's total number of cases in Australia is 21. So that's, I mean, if you, if you compare that to India, then it's no reason for panic, but it's, it's, it's well and truly good that the government is very serious about it and they're just taking uh, PMT measures to ensure that it doesn't cluster out into a major outbreak. And uh, it is in this situation that uh, the so-called breach of uh, breach of uh, protocol happened in the in the Indian team. And so they, I mean, one of the rules of the bio bubble is that in Australia they are allowed to go out, taking prior permission, taking precautions, going to restaurants which are considered safe zones, safe zones, and uh, and they are expected to eat out, not inside a confined space, not within the restaurant. Uh, building, but outside, if there is a dining area outside, you can sit there and uh, be out in the open. That's as simple as that. So uh, these players were uh, caught in the video sitting inside and dining. So that's that's 
that's in in basic sense that there's a breach of pro protocol but bcci or uh, i mean it's not attributed to any of the officials by name but many officials and team officials and sources and all that have have spoken out saying that it's not a breach of protocol as per their book now which book should 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 a team follow when they are in a particular country of course it should be the book written by the host so their rules uh, stipulate that it's a breach but then i believe that there is an understanding that has come between cricket australia and because it's an important series and one can compromise that the matches have to happen because it's monetarily financially and also for in the cricketing sense also it's an important series and uh, it should uh, uh, get completed so that's the whole idea that both the boards i think have reached uh, reached the understanding that we will uh, diffuse the situation in a way which doesn't breach common protocols for australia as well and uh, also doesn't antagonize bcci or its star players so they were these five players were put into separate quarantine they were training alone the test came out as per reports in the morning uh, last night uh, the tests are negative so they are clear and that's that's a blessing in itself and now they are getting ready for the sydney test which starts on the 7th and uh, there is this another i mean so the the biggest irony or biggest i mean if you call it a joke of the entire episode is certain board officials be or team officials being quoted as saying that these are part of australia's mind games as far uh, because they lost a match and they they are trying to so after the first match where india famously uh, got out for 36 runs uh, and then kohli left for his uh, paternity leave so australia were considered to be in the driving seat but uh, in that discussion as well post that match we had we were very clear that australia is also not in the prime of health if you ask if you look at their batting uh, performances even in the first match which they won so that was exposed in the second match and india i mean commendably they played really well and the uh, ajin karane and came back into the series so after that loss the the with this episode happening the the larger narrative that that's been trying to push by the indian team and the, and the people around the indian team or or the indian board uh, is that uh, australian media and are creating unnecessary controversy so that our players get affected in the mind so this is a game that they are pulling uh, i seriously doubt that because uh, a breach is a breach and they were out caught on camera it's not like they are australian media is citing sources or whatever that saying that these players were outside and according to our sources they mingled with fans and all that but they were there and it's just i mean lucky enough that uh, nothing happened out of it because cases are less so apparently the restaurant where they were dining and couple of uh, establishments beyond that a building was sealed on the same day a juice kiosk because there was a covid positive case on of one of the staffers so it's not like they are in a very clean secure environment i mean in that sense the nature of this pandemic is such that no area is clean unless you you have to be very careful all the time and so that uh, takes us to this last and final test which is going to happen in brisbane after the sydney test uh, and as per the current situation the australian state governments uh, are very strict about border crossing so if you are crossing state borders also you are supposed to go into uh, self quarantine so when the teams travel from sydney to brisbane as per rules they are supposed to go into hard quarantine like the way they did when they entered the country so that was 14 days so i'm not sure whether 14 days would be required as per rule here the uh, health minister of uh, uh, new south wales have, have have stated that india have to play by the rules and cricket australia is trying to tweak it a little bit so that it can be avoided and so that situation is playing on another side again so that shows you how serious this country where you are playing where india is playing is about all these rules so to cite uh, the news breaking out and going after <laughs> people who broke the news saying that this is wrong i mean it, this is how narratives get played out even in india for any any solid piece of news that come out 
always go behind the journalists, always go behind motives of the journalists, question the motives. Are you anti-national? Are you this? Are you that? So that's the same thing that's been play, played out here. And that's, uh, I mean, that's unfortunate. I, I hope that uh, India continue this series, the last two series, and they win the series, winning the last two matches. But uh, just don't stoop down to a level where you blame a leaf turning to Australian mind games. That's that's not that's not sport, real sporting spirit, and it's 2021. And let's start on a spirited note that way. Absolutely right. So, Leslie, in this context, I also wanted to ask you about uh, bio bubbles themselves in sport because it's been quite a few months since this has become common practice. Now, uh, it's been tested in various formats across the world, uh, various methodologies of doing it as well. So right now, as far as especially sporting events are concerned, where do you think we've reached with how bio bubbles are organized? And even now, I presume there is really some kind of an impact. And could you maybe talk a bit about that as well? So the, uh, the impact of bio bubbles is, is coming out slowly and surely that way. Uh, and bio bubble, the I mean, prolonged bio bubble is, is more or less being practiced by countries like India that way. So our first bio bubble was the Indian Premier League in the UAE. And uh, right now in, in the country, there are two bio bubbles happening. One is the Indian Super League in Goa and the other one is the I-League. The tournament is starting on the 9th of this month and the bio bubble was convened, set up for all the teams from the 26th of last month, 26th December. And uh, we have two of our correspondents inside the bio bubble in, in Kolkata. Uh, Chidandani and uh, Vaibhav Raghunandan, both of them are attached, uh, I mean, are part of the contingent for Sudeva FC. Uh, basically, we are, uh, I mean, uh, but the idea is to experience the whole thing and also cover I League as much as possible within the constraints. So, uh, being a media person inside, uh, so they, are, they are technically non media person that way because BCC has, I mean, sorry, All India Football Federation has not. Uh, uh, given out media accreditation for this. So media interactions, media press conferences, all these things happen online. Uh, so these guys will have to sit in their rooms or in their vicinity, I mean, within their whatever stipulated vicinity and do those questioning, answering, etc. But the, the difference for them is that they can stay with whatever, whichever team that they are attached to, they can stay in the team hotel, they can travel with the team for training, they can travel with the team for the matches so that's that's that in itself is a big deal because it opens up to a larger understanding because right now whatever the understanding that we are having are from outside it and nothing comes out of these bio bubbles so bio bubbles in essence are being used by the organizers for securing the players for sure but at the same time they are using it to control the narrative news that comes out of it also it works it's a win-win situation for them in both ways so we are not seeking controversies there, but we are seeking a larger understanding of how these things play out. So, uh, as for Viber, who had the, who was there, who landed there much before on the 26th itself with the team, Sudan this uh, just recently landed uh, day before he landed. So it's it's quite taxing. Even I mean, he has been there for what close to 10 days now, and it's 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 already taxing because the first uh, 10 days was critical that way because they were confined to their rooms. They were not even allowed to step out into the corridor unless two or three negative test results happened. So the first uh, test happened on the second day of their arrival, then on the sixth day, then on the ninth day, and now they're out. Today, uh, Viber was out in the training ground with the team. So uh, that initial days were getting adjusted to so everybody is in some kind of a lockdown at home or even for the club for the players who are involved they were in lockdown in their training facilities club facilities or wherever that they were uh, together before the, entering the i league bio bubble but uh, but once you enter there you understand that the protocols it's 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 new protocols because it's the organizers decision how to employ so they have their own uh, set of staff who are there and so uh, I mean, it's it's the the la the larger emotion that came out talking to these guys as well as their understanding talking to players who are there is that nobody knows what is working, what is not working. They just know that these set rules are there which needs to be implemented. It's it's, it's blind following of of what is written uh, as the rule. 
so that is one aspect and the second aspect is the constant i mean i mean small small things that you take for granted just walking uh, into the corridor i mean if you are staying in a five star hotel fine but you get sick of the four walls of that five star hotel in, in no time you are amazed I mean, vibo himself was amazed that uh, how how easily one get tired of of these luxury so called luxury so from starting from small things like diet breakfast what do you have because there is a set menu especially the first 10 days and of course you are free to order in but ordering in from five star hotels is is not exactly <laughs> feasible for journalists nor for football players of the i league maybe the isl players are much better off cricket players are definitely more better, better off that's why they can even go out and eat if they, if they want to so starting with diet diet dietary requirements small things because these guys are athletes so they need to train so so they are having some kind of video conferencing session happening where they train within their room so it it was not happening because frustrations were starting already in the first four five days so uh, and now with them going out and training it's it's probably now it's a breath of fresh air take i mean quite literally but then comes the other other part of it now the matches will start losses victories injuries niggles this that and in and and you're talking about a three month tournament which is the i league and uh, three months is a long enough time one week itself looks uh, feels like a lifetime that's what that's what they have been saying so uh, it's it's bound to creep creep up to you at some point and frustrations uh, been, so nothing else, like i said in the ipl also or in the isl which has been in the bio bubble for one and a half months now now i league is just started so nothing we don't understand how the players what has happened uh, if there were outbursts if there, um, of course something or the other would have happened but but uh, that kind of uh, understanding i guess all the teams have team psychologists and all that these days so they might be working with these players to help them make them cope with this better all these things but once the bubble is out and the players are out and then all, they start talking to people media uh, all, then only we will realize what the larger long term impact of being in a bio bubble like this is uh, this is going to happen and now going back to australia and the indian team so more i mean almost all of this play almost i mean everyone in fact where i have been in on the bio bubble one bio bubble or the other for the last 5 months or so first it was the ipl and then many of these players went directly from the ipl to to australia from from the uae to australia some of them came back to india to work on injuries and all that including rohit sharma and then went back so Five months, six months being in a bubble, it's 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 difficult, and uh, and so there are two ways in which organizers have been approaching tournaments or competitions. One is giving the onus on the team or the players to do the testing, do the quarantining, and all that. And before match or before the tournament, they would do a test, negative result, or once a week they do the test, negative result means the team or the player is allowed to get into. This is how the leagues work because it's it's completely. I mean, leagues in Europe, not the Indian leagues, because Indian leagues are shorter in duration. In any case, the, the foreign leagues you are talking about ten months of action. So uh, that is one methodology that's been working. So it's, I feel that that is easier on the psyche of the players than a full-fledged bio bubble where you are practically jailed in in a luxury hotel, and then you are, I mean, technically working as slaves on the football field. So. Uh, that's that's that uh, that's much more harder on 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 the players on the people involved having said that the other side is how responsible would a player be or a team be ensuring that they are safe they are keeping themselves safe because the larger responsibility is that 11 players of a football team play 11 players of another team a case or two asymptomatic cases or whatever if if that really leads to a cluster or a spreading event then it it just it just i mean the impact is huge on on that tournament on the teams and on on a larger scale on indian sport so 
that makes me worry because this is another piece that we published in Newsweek, in fact, the first piece of New Year, where among the national championships, wrestling is what is going to start first. Uh, 23rd and 24th is the men's freestyle tournament that's happening in Noida. After that, follow that by, by the end of the month, there will be a women's tournament in Agra. And early next month, there will be a greco roman uh, men's tournament in Punjab. So they are following the second system where teams are expected, individuals are expected to test themselves, come with a negative result, which is not, no, which is, uh, which, which is done within 72 hours of the match of their arrival. And then they are allowed entry into, into the competition. There's a risk to that because uh, I mentioned in that story also that Kerala team would be traveling testing before boarding the train, traveling two days, reaching here with that test result, which is negative, but that train journey can can create problems. So uh, it's, I mean, we have to restart at some point. That's the emotion that everybody uh, I spoke to are saying, but uh, uh, one has to be very careful. I mean, the implications are huge health plus right on sport on the economics involved everything so that's that's the larger understanding i believe that the cricket team should have because they're in australia and they also are trying to protect what they can and what they have so so uh, just blaming it on on frivolous things like you're playing a mind game it's 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 immature to say the least absolutely right thank you so much Desi, for talking to us that's all your time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from India and the world. Until then, keep watching NewsClick.